Hi, I'm Colin Walls, and I'm here again to talk about embedded software. Particularly, I'm going to talk about real-time operating systems and a specific functionality which many real-time operating systems offer. And that is a means of communicating and synchronizing in a very simple way between tasks. This facility is called an event flag. Now, event flags come in groups, and those groups uh, maybe of 8 or 16 or 32, it depends on the operating system, and those groups are standalone objects in their own right. Now an event flag is simply a bit, it can be 0 or it can be 1, and that value can be set by one task and then read by another. So a task can set a number of bits and there's two different ways it can do that, one is an OR mechanism which simply means that the task will set a number of bits to 1, and the other option is an AND mechanism, which enables bits to be cleared. So, one task sets the bits up, and another task can read them. The task reading them can either just check on a particular bit to see whether it's been set, or it could check on a group of bits, it could check whether a number of bits have been set, either all of them or any one of them, so an AND or an OR functionality. It might also have a consume functionality, which means that when it reads it, it erases them. This enables a bit to be passed from one task to another, rather than from one task to perhaps multiple tasks. And lastly, it's very common for a, an event flag group to be used to wake up a task, because it's waiting for a particular pattern of bits, which indicate that the circumstances are right for the task to wake up. So in this case, all the task has to do is request to read the event flags and with a suspend option so that if those event flags are not set and the request is not um, uh, honoured because of that the task will go to sleep and it'll wake up when the flags are set and that's a very common way of doing things. So that's event flags, they're very simple. Um, they are aimed at simple binary communication but you can use combinations of them to communicate more complex messages. That might be that uh, you want to indicate a different status by a different combination of them, or maybe a number of tasks need to have completed some work before another task can proceed, in which case each task will write perhaps an event flag, uh, an individual event flag, and the other task will wait until all, all of them have been set. So that's the idea of event flags. I hope you find that useful. This video uh, really goes hand in hand with the series of articles I'm doing on embedded.com, which are called RTOS Revealed. Um, and event flags are one of the subjects I have or will be covering before very long. So that's it for today. I hope you found that useful and I'll say goodbye until next time. Cheers.